Hello Daverners, it's Mrs Whitehouse here. Um, I'm going to read you a story. This is a book written and illustrated by Nick Butterworth. It's called Percy the Park Keeper and we've been given permission to read this story by HarperCollins Publishers. So this story, I'm actually with Shelfie. I don't know if you can see him up there. He's come to stay with me while we're off school and I'm going to read you a story called <coughs> The Hedgehog's Balloon. Percy the park keeper looked up from his work and gazed in wonder. Two red ones, a blue one, there's a yellow one and another blue one. Percy was counting balloons. I wonder where they're coming from, he said to himself. Somebody must have had a party. He put down his trowel and wiped his hands. Well, if nobody wants them, he said, I think I'll help myself. Percy chased after the balloons as they floated past him on the breeze. It didn't take him long to collect as many as he could carry. He began to walk back towards his hut, whistling happily. Suddenly, Percy stopped. He could hear a faint sound coming from a tree stump nearby. It was not a happy sound. Someone's crying, said Percy. Oh, dear. He let go of his balloons and hurried off to the stump. Sitting on the tree stump and looking very upset was a hedgehog. Two mice were doing their best to comfort him. Goodness me, said Percy, whatever is the matter? It's all these balloons, said the hedgehog. Then in between sniffs and sobs, he explained to Percy how he had always loved balloons. The trouble was that he could never have them because they would always burst on his spines. It's just not fair and the hedgehog burst into tears again. You poor thing, said Percy. He tried to put his arm around the hedgehog but took it away at once. Ouch, he said. Then Percy took one of his thick gardening gloves out of his pocket and put it on. The hedgehog nestled into his hand. I think everyone should be able to play with balloons, said Percy, and that includes hedgehogs. He put on the other glove and gently carried the hedgehog towards an old store shed. The two mice followed. The mice watched Percy through the window. He set the hedgehog down on a workbench and then he took a tin from a shelf. He opened the lid. What's Percy doing? said one of the mice. What's in that box? I don't know, said the other mouse. I can't see properly. The mice didn't have to wait too long to find out. Percy picked up the hedgehog and brought him outside. There, said Percy. A good idea, even if I say so myself. I think these balloons will be safe now. The mice clapped and the hedgehog beamed. He thought how smart he must look wearing his corks. Percy caught hold of a bright yellow balloon. Here you are, said Percy, as he handed it to the hedgehog. Your very first balloon. The hedgehog took the balloon and with a great big smile on his face, he scampered off with the balloon floating beside him. Another satisfied customer, said Percy, feeling pleased with himself. Percy turned to go back to his hut, but suddenly there came a loud bang. Oops, said Percy, one of the corks must have come off. It's a good job we've got plenty of balloons. Don't worry, Percy called to the hedgehog. I'm coming. I hope you enjoyed that one. Um, I'll be back to read you another one shortly.